What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin and today I'm coming in with a story time video that is very similar to the video that I made talking about NyQuil. I assume that most of you guys have seen that, it's one of the most viewed videos on this channel and today I'm talking about a drug slash medicine, whatever the hell you want to call it, that is incredibly similar to NyQuil. However, a little bit different and I also had a bit different of an experience on it. So, figured I would share that with you guys, hope you all do enjoy this video, drop a like if you do and also real quick, before we get any further into this, I would like to mention real quick that I've been fucking with the settings again. You know, I saw your guys' comments saying that the video the other day was too dark with the 1440p, so finally, I think I've nailed it. I don't know. Let me know how the gameplay quality is for you guys, both on mobile or PC, either one. Just let me know in the comments below. would love to hear from you guys, and without further ado, let's dive into it. So, getting high on Delsim. Now, for those of you who don't know what Delsim is, Delsim is a cold medicine, it's a cough syrup that is pretty similar to NyQuil. It does the same thing, essentially, except there's one big difference between the two drugs. NyQuil has a certain kind of DXM, I don't remember the exact name of it, but it has a kind of DXM that is like the instant release, where like it doesn't last, you know, a, a super duper long time, you know, and then you have Delsim, which is an extended release medicine that has a kind of DXM that is like, it's like DXM Polysterex or something like that, I'm pretty sure I don't remember the exact name of it, because I haven't done this shit in a long time, I don't really rock with like Robo Tripping or DXM or any of that anymore, because it's shitty, but I'll get to that later, but Anyways, Delsim has a kind of DXM that is a slightly less potent, I mean, not only from what I could tell, but also from what, like, I've heard from other people and read online, and it lasts a shit ton longer, so, like, if you were to, let's say, you, you were to ingest, like, 400 milligrams of DXM in NyQuil, you know, if you were to ingest 400 milligrams of the, the DXM that's in Delsim, you would trip a lot longer, but it would be maybe a little less intense. You know, the Delsim trips last a long-ass time. You know, I've had people tell me they last up to 12 hours, and it's true. Mine lasted a super long time, which I'm going to get to, but I ended up sleeping through part of it, but I'll get to that anyway. So, this all happened in 2015. This was ages ago, guys. This was so long ago. I was still a young boy, and I'm still a young boy. I'm not 18 yet, but this was a good minute ago, and I remember... I had just gotten out of school, I had no weed left, nothing to do, I didn't, I was really bored, you know, like, I just didn't have shit to do, so I was like, you know what, I've robo-tripped a couple times, you know, I've tried triple C's, you know, it was okay, I didn't like it my first time, but, like, at this point, I'd done it a couple more times, and, like, done it in moderation, like, less than I did my first time, so I kind of was, like, interested in DXM tripping, so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go get myself some cough syrup, so I walk up to the Walgreens, it's, like, right next to my house, and... I'm in there, you know, going through the cold medicine aisle, and all the triple C's are always, like, cleared out from Walgreens, you know, especially the one by my house, everyone's just a DXM fiend around here, so, like, kids are always stealing that shit, it's always gone, they got to the point where now all the stores around here, like, grocery stores or, like, convenience stores or just anywhere that carries, like, medicine, they put the triple C's behind the counter, like, you have to bring a little flyer up to get them, because kids were taking them so much, so... You know, I was like, all right, there's no triple C's. I'm going to look around at some other stuff. And at this point, you know, I'd like, I, I'd done like NyQuil a couple times, like once or twice, you know, it was okay. But like, I wanted to try something else because I was like, I mean, NyQuil just tastes like shit. You know what I'm saying? I was like, huh. You know, I mean, if other medicines also have DXM. And at this point, I also knew like what bad ingredients were. Like I knew acetaminophen or however it's pronounced was something that could really fuck you up. I knew guaifenesin would give you nausea and like stomach problems. So I knew like to an extent, what ingredients to look out for. So I was just looking through the aisle, picking up the bottles, looking at stuff, and I stumbled across Delsim. And the only active ingredient that I saw was DXM Polysterex. Now, a cold medicine where the only active ingredient is DXM is basically 100% bait to just be abused by every teenager on the fucking planet. Because, like, the only active active ingredient that gets you high in cold meds is DXM. All the other ones typically have a poor reaction and make you sick or cause some sort of problem that, like, you don't want. But in Delsim, the only active ingredient I saw in the box was DXM Polysterex. Now, the Polysterex part I had never seen. I was like, what the fuck is that? You know, I, I believe it's called Polysterex. Like, I'm pretty sure. This is off memory, guys. Like, I didn't Google this shit, so, like, I don't fucking remember. But I know it started with a P, but... I googled it, I pulled out my phone in the aisle, and I was like, what the fuck, I was reading online, I said it lasts longer and shit, because I wanted to make sure I didn't just down some dumb shit that wouldn't get me high, because I didn't know what it was, so, I was like, oh shit, this is gonna be a long-lasting thing, I was like, okay, fuck it, so, 
I grab a bottle, I put it in my pocket. Of course, you know, I'm planning on getting high with it. I don't fucking pay for it. So I just walk out of the store. They don't really have like security or anything like they don't care. You know, they, I mean, they probably do care, but they, they can't really do much about it. But anyways, so walk back to my house, you know, it's maybe like a five minute walk and I'm sitting there with the bottle, just trying to decide how much I should drink because I'm really bad with dosages on like a lot of drugs besides like weed. Like when it comes to like, you know, pills or like, you know, DXM or, you know, like if I have to like calculate a certain milligram amount that I need to take of a drug, typically I'm really bad at estimating how much I need. So I started off deciding I would drink half the bottle, and I got one of the bigger bottles, and I was doing some math, and I calculated, I still remember this so well, because I did Delsim a bunch of times after this because of this first experience, you know, I eventually stopped, thank God, but I remembered that the bigger bottles of Delsim, I calculated it, each had 900 milligrams exactly of DXM, which is a lot, that's a very good amount to trip, so I figured I would drink half the bottle and start out at 450. And if it didn't do it for me, which I assumed it would, I would work my way up. But I was like, yeah, 450 is going to be plenty. I'm not going to need any more. So I got the grape flavor. There's two flavors. There's either orange or grape. So what I did is I didn't like mix it with anything. I'm not going to pour up some fake lean. That shit's lame. I just drank it straight out of the bottle. I was like, whatever. I just kind of like eyeballed out. Like what I did is the first time I just eyeballed out like half a bottle and just kind of took a squig. So like I took around 450 milligrams. I'm not positive like exactly how much it was. But from then on out, I used the little like measuring cups that came with the Delsim. But anyway, so I drank that shit. And at this point, I was just sitting in bed. You know, I wasn't really doing anything. My mom was like home at this point, but she was like in her room. And I was still living with my mom at this point. I wasn't even with my dad. That's how you guys know that this was ages ago. But Anyway, so I'm just sitting in my room playing some games, not really doing shit, just down like half the bottle and waiting for it to kick in. You know, like I'm kind of interested, kind of curious, and I knew it was going to be long lasting. The worst part is this was a school night. Like, I don't know what really like drove me to do this, but I was like, fuck it, whatever. You know, I don't care because school is irrelevant to me at that point. You know, I didn't give a fuck. So about 45 minutes in, I was playing some PS4. I started feeling the effects, you know, like it had very, it's still DXM at heart. So it's still the same kind of high. It's just longer lasting essentially, you know what I'm saying, I'm sitting there, I'm playing PS4, I don't remember what I was playing, probably like Call of Duty, probably like AW or some shit, I don't remember exactly, and I remember a lot of times, at least for me, when I'm on DXM, I can feel when it starts kicking in, because I see those little like, those little light flurs, you know, those little like purple balls that fly around, those little like, you know how like, let's say you close your eyes, and you just like, you're not sleeping, but you just close your eyes, you can see all those little, like, colors, you know what I mean, like, it's really hard to explain, I don't know the term for it, you can see those when your eyes are open, too, that's how I know the DXM is starting to get to me, I start seeing, like, just little, little tiny, like, balls of, like, stuff just moving around, and, like, you you can literally almost feel the weight of your body being lifted away, almost, it's a really, like, odd experience, it's really hard to explain for me, but, I started feeling that like weightless kind of cloudy, almost like opiate ish feeling, you know, where like you just feel like you're you're literally being lifted into the clouds like you just can't feel your weight. And I'm like, oh shit, this is hitting me pretty hard. Like normally with DXM, you know, with NyQuil, they didn't have as much DXM as the Delsim bottles did. So I would only drink like maybe 200 milligrams, you know, when it came to NyQuil. So I did like a really fat dose because like I heard it was weaker. So I was like, well, I need to do a fat dose. I kind of overestimated how much weaker it was going to be this shit was not much weaker at all you know like I was really fucked up but I was sitting there feeling completely lifted you know just seeing like some pretty cool little like light flurries around me and stuff like that and you know I was still focused on my game so like I could feel the physical effects but the mental stuff wasn't really hitting me that hard yet because I was still playing my game besides like the game looking a little funny and me probably playing a little bit worse you know but after the game got done I decided I wanted to really experience the high I really wanted to like see how long lasting see how effective it was I wanted to go do something so I decided I wanted to go take a walk so I walked out my house and I just decided to walk through my neighborhood it was like pretty decent out if I remember correctly so I probably just had like some random ass clothes on I don't fucking know probably like sweatpants and a t-shirt or some shit and I was just walking around my neighborhood now the sun was like going down at this point you know it was like it was a real nice like you you know when the sky is real orangey when like it's around dinner time and the sun isn't down yet but it's not like up it's just like kind of happening it's like the sky's orange and blue that's what it looked like and I was looking up and I just like I kept walking and just looking at the sky and like I don't know, it's like, not not necessarily that, like, the colors were more vibrant, but it's just like, I looked up and I just saw things, like, I just saw, like, 
little like balls of things moving around, like not clouds. Like I just saw like, I don't know if they were light balls. I don't know what they were. There was just something up there that I just couldn't stop looking at. So I was just looking up at the sky and just walking, not even focusing on where I was going. I didn't care. And you know, I was just staying in my neighborhood. My neighborhood's really easy to navigate. It's not, like, big, so it's not really hard for me to, like, find my way back home if I'm really fucked up. So I'm walking around. I completely lose track of how long I've been out. I'm just walking, enjoying, like, the scenery, you know, enjoying the trees and, like, the the breeze and the sky and how nice it is. And I'm walking so long that the sun actually goes down while I'm out, so it's, like, pretty dark. And that's when I kind of realized, oh, shit, I need to go home. Now, when I tried to get home, you know, like I said, the neighborhood's easy to navigate, but it's still, you know, when you're on DXM, you have this kind of, like, cloudy, foggy feeling in your brain, where, like, you try to process a thought, and you try to, like, think of what you need to do, and you just can't do it. Like, you just can't finish that thought or execute that action, like, whatever you're trying to do. That's what happened with me. It's like I was telling myself I needed to go home, and, like, I knew that I should go home, But I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I was just so fucked up. I would just lose track of that thought and just look back up at the sky or like at the trees or the grass or the dogs around me. Like people walking their dogs or like shit like that and just completely get focused back on that. So I ended up being out there for God knows how long. You know, I I honestly have no clue how long I was walking around, but it was a good minute. And I finally ended up getting back home. I ended up wandering around home. My neighborhood is like kind of a big circle. So even if I was really fucked up and just constantly walking, like I would probably just end up back in my house anyways, which is what happened. Eventually I ended up pretty close and I was like, oh yeah, I probably should have gone home a while ago. So like I just kind of walked into my house and At this point, it was really hitting me. You know, the come up where I felt myself getting lifted was already over. I'd already been high for a good long minute. It it felt like many hours had gone by, and I was feeling no less fucked up. Like, it it felt like the whole experience thus far was a peak. I didn't even know if I had peaked yet. Like, I had no clue. So I got home finally, and my mom was, like, sitting in the living room watching TV, and I'm like, oh, fuck, because I was just gone for God knows how long. I assumed she was in her room, like, taking a nap or something. I didn't even, like, tell her I was leaving. I just, like, got fucked up and left, so I walk back in the door, I'm trying to play it off all cool, I walk upstairs, she kind of looks at me, you know, she, like, gives me that, like, that mom look that's like, I know what the fuck you're doing, Nick, and I'm just like, I look over at her, and I'm just like, I can't think about that right now, mom, I can't think about what you're thinking, because I can barely function, so I'm just gonna go to my room and probably, like, furiously masturbate, I don't know, nah, but anyways, so how my house is kind of laid out, like, I didn't really have to go past my mom's, like, we didn't speak or anything, she just kind of looked at me, and I just walked, like, right back in my room, you know, because, like, as soon as you get up the stairs, my house is entirely on the second story, it's a condo, my mom's house at least was, you know, like, my room was right after you got up the stairs, like, the final step, and then my, the, the living room that my mom was sitting in was past my room, so, like, I didn't, I didn't have to, like, speak to her and encounter her, I just had to look at her and walk in my room, so I go back in my room, And one of my favorite things to do when I'm fucked up is play PC games. Like, I don't know why, but console games don't do it as much as PC games because, like, I get more immersed. And when I'm really fucked up, I like it. So I hop on my computer and I hop on League of Legends. League of Legends is one of my favorite games to play when I'm fucked up off basically any drug because it's just so, like, mind fuck. Like, it's like when you're tripping balls or, like, you're rolling or whatever, just the colors and the the big flashy fights and, like, all the all the shit happening in league. It's just a good time. You know what I'm saying? So I hop on league and I hit up my buddy and I'm like, yo, hop on league. Let's play. And my buddy gets on. He's fucked up too. He's K'd up. He's like, bro, I can't even feel my fingers right now. I'm like, it's okay. I can barely even think of any champions name. So let's just play. Fuck it. Like we're probably going to feed our brains out, but whatever. So we queue up, we get in the game, we pick our champions, we picked like some random out of meta ass characters, for those of you who play League, you know what I'm talking about, for those of you who don't, just try to stick with me, we picked some really like irrelevant characters, I was top and I'm pretty sure I picked like, oh god dude, I don't fucking know, like Blitzcrank or some shit, like new new. I don't fucking know, I picked some dumbass character and uh, I remember my buddy played Pantheon, I remember really clearly because I remember we were, like, really fascinated with his alt. That's why I remember this game so well, because I remember we were both fucked up, and we were just so fascinated with how high we, he could jump and how far he could go with his alt. For those of you who don't know who Pantheon is or anything about League of Legends, he's, like, this warrior character, and he has this ability, his, like, best ability called an alt, and he jumps up in the air and just lands, like, basically anywhere, like, 
on the map. Like, he, the range of the ability is, like, half of the map almost. So, like, he could jump from spawn to halfway across the map with his ultimate ability, which is, like, nuts. So, we were just fascinated. We were like, this man has to have thunder thighs. This is insane. This man's very strong. This is wonderful. And we were just so amused by it. Every time his ult came up, even though, like, it wasn't useful, we just ult. Like, he would just use it. Just because just it was funny as fuck to us. Like, I don't know. So, we ended up losing the fuck out of that game. I remember we had a good ass time. And after that, I don't know what happened. Like he didn't even tell me he was getting off. He just kind of disappeared. So I was like, all right, whatever. So I just got off after that. And at this point, I've been tripping for a good minute. You know, I took a long walk. I've been chilling, playing games. I just got done with the League of Legends game. I want to say at this point, I'm going to guess because like when I'm really fucked up, especially for a long period of time on drugs, I have a really hard time keeping track of what time it is or like how long has gone by, you know, like especially drugs that are like semi-psychedelic or psychedelic like DXM, you know, it's, it's very difficult for me to keep track of what time it is at like any given time or how much time has gone by or like how much time I have left in the high, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to guess that like four or five hours went by at this point. I honestly don't know. And I had school the next day. So I didn't want to stay up the whole night because I didn't want to go to school like zombified because I just had a monster DXM trip the night before. So I got in bed and I tried to sleep and I eventually did, but it took me a super long time because What happened was I hopped into bed, turned all my lights out. I'm sitting there playing around on my phone, just playing like whatever apps. And eventually I was like, all right, I need to stop fucking around on my phone. I need to go to bed. And I'm still pretty fucked up at this point. Like I'm still definitely feeling it, not necessarily as intensely as I did before. You know, it was kind of coming down, but I still saw those flurries. I still felt very light. I still felt like I was definitely fucked up. So, you know, I was sitting in bed, put my phone down and I tried to focus on sleeping, but the darkness around me just turned into like visuals, you know, like if that makes any sense, like the, all the dark in my room just turned into like light flurries. And it was like a light show almost, not like a super intense one, but it's just like I could see like faint colors in the dark and it was really like fascinating. And part of that could have been because like all the, all the little lights and buttons on like the electronics in my room, you know, like they could have, I don't know, I mean, that that could have, like, partially been responsible, maybe I was just tripping balls and, like, hallucinating or something, but, like, I just kept seeing all these little, like, light shows in the dark, and, like, I would look in a direction and see, like, you know, just a little flurry of purple in the air, like, a little, little faint blues, like, swirl in the air, and it was, like, moving, and it was just really, like, fascinating, so I ended up sitting there for God knows how long, just looking, just staring into darkness, just looking around me, and, like, being, like, holy shit, this is really fucking cool, so, eventually, you know, I kind of got bored of doing that because, I mean, there's only so long you can look at life flurries. And I was like, okay, I really need to go to bed. So I went to sleep, or at least I attempted to. I laid down, closed my eyes, you know, face down on the pillow, how I always sleep. I sleep with my stomach down, back up, just completely wiped the fuck out, look like a dead man, close my eyes and... I'm finding that I'm having the same problem even with my eyes closed. Like, the darkness in my head is like light flurries. Like, I'm just so focused on that. It's like my mind is racing. I'm fucked up. I can't sleep. So I'm just laying there for ages. I have no clue. Just lost in my thoughts and, like, just doing all this shit in my head. And eventually I passed out. I don't know when it was. But I woke up the next morning feeling gutted feeling like shit so I couldn't have gotten too much sleep you know I woke up I usually wake up for school when I did go to school at like 5 45 in the morning and I felt like shit it felt like I got maybe two three hours of sleep so like I don't know I just I felt like garbage the next day and I don't know if it was because of the DXM or because of my lack of sleep or probably a combination of both but either way it was a pretty interesting trip that I had definitely a pretty stark difference from the other DXM experiences I've had like triple C's and NyQuil it was it was pretty cool so that's all I had to say in today's video hope you guys did enjoy I know this one was a little longer but either way hope you guys enjoyed drop a like if you did and I'll see you guys next time peace